All right, welcome to Marty's Garden. And I've got super stuff coming up because I'm so stoked. I got all this amazing feedback from you guys and I am going to follow through and create this container garden. Now you've asked for to see the creation of the garden, how it's gonna be done, the step-by-step, -step, and then the tutorials along the way with obviously the follow-ups of how the garden's going, cost and savings and all that type of stuff. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm going to create a list because without all the stuff and no list, I'm bound to forget everything. <laughs> Let's go, shall we? Number one on the list is starting off with a really good premium potting mix. Stay away from the cheap ones. And if you can get one of the more expensive potting mixes on sale, then that's a real winner. When purchasing your premium quality container mix, you need to make sure that it contains some of the following, such as a complete plant food, unless you're going for the organic, the trace elements, the compost, peat, zeolite, and some water crystals. Now the water crystals will help in those dry times or when you forget to water. Next on the list are containers. Now you might be able to find some containers lying around, some recycled ones, and also some ones from garage sales and things like that. But these guys are brand newbies, and I love these containers, and I'll tell you why. Yes, it's all about oxygen and water uptake for the plant's vitality. As you can see here, this container has a grid with some little sumps, which allow for the plant to take up the water and oxygen as it's needed. Number three on the list is the fertilizer of your choice. Make sure it contains some compost, blood and bone, seaweed, fish, and even a little bit of gypsum to help provide that extra bit of calcium that tomatoes and certain plants need. To top it off, you're gonna need some trays to grow microgreens. Now you can use recycled trays, but I like to use these ones, which you can pick up secondhand from the nurseries that they grow seedlings in. They work just awesome. And there's gonna be plenty of tutorials about growing microgreens. And there's even some really cool ones on the channel from recent videos. So there you have it, a container gardening list to get you started so you can get productive straight away. What's coming up in Marty's garden? Well, we're gonna be covering the hay bales in my third season on growing in them now, and I just love hay bales. They've got so many uses. And we're gonna be covering the setting up of the garden here, location strategies, and costs, and a bit of me and Karen along the way also. Now, if you haven't subscribed to Marty's Garden and you're new to the channel and you wanna learn about container and small space gardening, this is the place to do it because I'm starting a brand new garden and you just don't get to see startups like this very often. So hang in there, keep watching, return often, and enjoy the shows as they appear. All right, I'm Marty Ware from Marty's Garden. Have a great day. Happy gardening. Wow, my yellow heirloom cherry tomatoes are starting to ripen up. Sweet.